Hey guys, I'm Tim and welcome back to the channel. At Learn NYLG, I try to teach you how to make awesome outdoor gear. Today I want to introduce you to the Porter Pony. This is a 20 liter panel loading backpack that I've designed primarily for travel. For me, the 20 liter size is in the Goldilocks range for overnight trips, for in and out of the office, and for weekend getaways. Some of the things I really like about this bag is that 20 liters carry on to flights is no issue and you can fit it underneath the seat if you want to. The shape of the bag was important for structure, and it tapers from the back panel towards the front in all directions. It's not a simple square, and none of the seams are completely perpendicular. There's foam inserted into the bottom panel as well as the back panel to give more structure to the bag. For the main pocket, I used a YKK number 8 zipper. It's nice and burly, but doesn't look overly big for this size bag. On the top, there's a grab handle with webbing, and two side hooks if you want to attach anything to it. And there's an additional zipper opening that gets you into the main compartment, makes getting your laptop in and out easy, or reaching in for snacks. Okay, so on the back panel, I used a little bit different fabric here. I wanted a smoother face of this to protect your clothes from pilling. And also, the smooth fabric on the bottom keeps your shirt from getting dragged up while you're carrying the bag. It's fully lined with foam on the back panel, and then there's additional channels of foam that give it a 3D shape. The center column adds to breathability, and the 3D padding just adds overall comfort. As you can see, the straps are removable. That makes them compatible with the porter duffels, so you may only have to make one set of straps for three different size bags. On my straps, I'm reusing the ones I made with a porter duffel. They have spacer mesh and foam padding, and the fabric on the outside happens to match the fabric I use for the bag. You can use spacer mesh on the bottom, but in the pattern, I actually suggest using the back panel fabric because it's smoother against your clothes and you don't really need the breathability for something that you're just carrying around an airport or to and from the office. You can see on my bag, I kept the sides nice and clean. If you do want to carry a water bottle, the pattern includes a pocket piece that can be added right here on the side with stretch material. So it stays kind of tucked in with the bag and it stretches out so you can fit your normal water bottle. Now that we've talked about the outside of the bag, let's go ahead and get onto the inside and I'll show you a loadout that I might carry for an overnight trip. There's two main ways to get into the backpack. The first is this zipper that's along the back panel. Opening this, it's easy to get into to grab snacks or an electronics or tech pouch. From this top panel, you can also get to a laptop. This is a 14 inch laptop and it, this bag fits up to my 16 inch MacBook Pro. The laptop floats up off the bottom to about right here. You can size that for your laptop and that prevents your laptop from hitting the ground when you place the bag down. I don't really like my bags to have a bunch of compartments and organization features built in. So the inside of this bag is pretty basic, but there is one organizer pocket that takes up the volume of this upper half of the lid. To get to just that pocket, you don't have to open the whole bag. You can just open it a little bit and that pocket right here that has its own volume is accessible from the top of the lid. Because it's a panel loader, you can get to the entire contents of the bag from one spot. Here you can see this upper pocket has its own volume, so you can pack the top of the bag up to the zipper line and you're not going to constrict the pocket that's up here. For the contents of the bag, first I have a winter jacket as well as an extra pair of pants, and then a stuff sack or packing cube has underwear, an extra shirt, that type of stuff. This bag's also big enough to carry an extra pair of shoes. For travel, that's great. It's also awesome if you happen to go to the gym after going to the office. Here you can see the laptop sleeve. It's got kind of an elastic band and the pocket can be sized for your particular laptop. The inside of the bag is fully lined and there's no exposed seams. The pattern also describes how to do the binding around the zipper to give this a really professional finish. For travel and everyday use with the Porter Pony, you're gonna to wanna to use kind of a heavier duty fabric. This is not intended to be an ultralight bag, but pack fabrics that a lot of outdoor companies are using are perfect for this. The outside of this bag was made with Cordura 500. It's a great fabric, it's super durable, it's low cost. The downside is it picks up a lot of dirt and it's heavier than some of the new laminates. Speaking of laminate fabrics, the Porter Duffel I made in another video series is made with EPX 200. This is a fantastic fabric, it's one of my favorites for packs, and it's a great option for this bag. EPX 200 comes in a lot of different colors, and you see it has this X-ply grid on the inside, 
that's a square, so it's non-directional, give you a little bit more efficient cut layout. An equivalent fabric would be X-Pack VX21. Again, comes in a lot of different colors. It's a laminate, it's lightweight, and it's nice and durable for a bag like this. If you're using something like Cordura, I'd recommend a smoother fabric for the back panel to protect your clothes from pilling. On this bag, I used Oxford Nylon. The Oxford Nylon comes in tons of colors. You can get it for less than $10 a yard, and it's a real common fabric that a lot of backpacks are made out of. If you want a little bit more breathability, you could use spacer mesh along these center channels, as well as on the underside of the shoulder straps. For the lining on the inside of the bag, this one I used Hex 70 from Ripstop by the Roll. It's a 70 denier Ripstop nylon, but you can also use the Oxford nylon or any, really any coated nylon on the inside. You just want something that's gonna be easy to clean and it gives the bag a little bit extra structure and certainly finishes the inside of the bag so no exposed seams are shown. Materials for the optional water bottle pocket are important to consider. I know a lot of people are gonna to wanna to use the Venom Ultralight Stretch Mesh. Now this isn't super stretchy, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the, the higher stretch direction goes across the side of the panel. That way when you put a bottle in there, it stretches out this way. Another great option for the water bottle pocket is a heavy Lycra. This is kind of like a football jersey. Uh, it's also great for uh, leggings, things like that. It's a lot stretchier, very durable, and you can get this in a lot of colors. So I think that covers kind of the materials of the bag. There's a lot of options out there, but Cordura, EPX200, VX21, Oxford Nylon, all these are great options.